Kyrie, as we mentioned, carried this team in the first half, uh, scoring 24 of 30 points, which Stan Van Gundy then referred to both Luka and Kyrie as the greatest offensive backcourt ever. I love when I love when Stan's on a call, Lou, because he we get these kinds of things. Um, you're making a face, so you don't agree. I mean, off the top of my head, uh, <laughs> Mike and Scotty. Heard of them. How fast have we forgotten about court, Clay and Steph, Shaq and Kobe? LeBron uh, and D-Wade, are they? Even Bron and Kyrie. I mean, Bron, Kyrie, Bron, D-Wade. And these are off the top of our head. Yeah, so, like, 2019, James Harden and Russell Westbrook, they averaged like 35 and 28 points, both of them. Like, if we're talking offensive statistics, there's a bunch of teams, a bunch of duos that put up big numbers. Clyde Drexler and Elijah Wan. We could go Penny Hardaway and Shaq. It's well, no, backcourt, 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 backcourt. Backcourts? All right, cool. We'll take those out. I, st <laughs> I still like... I was thinking the same thing, Steph too. Like Clay Shaq and Kobe, Kobe yeah, duos. I, I, yeah. Steph but I, I still like uh, Steph and Clay. They got Steph four rings. Yeah, they have four rings. You can't yeah. beat... That, can't beat that. Yeah. I know, but... He wanted to say that, and so maybe this is the argument. <laughs> so what we want to find? So like we're him. gonna we're gonna watch how this thing plays out, and maybe by the end of the series, and find. No, they're they're not gonna be better Dang. than Steph and Clay at the end of the series. They're gonna need four years of series. <laughs> yeah. to, to Any get more to that time point. to touch that? I understand what he's saying, like offensively, yeah. like you can't guard them both. They're both so special. The way Kyrie is finishing, the way Luca creates and play makes, but. I mean, no, we're talking about historic, historic championships and runs and longevity in years. They're very talented, and maybe <laughs> they'll get there, but not yet. You're very talented, and maybe one day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're <laughs> trying. got caught up in the moment. Um, but it was fun to watch. Luca had 15 of the 33 points he finished with in the fourth quarter. Uh, the knee injury is there. I mean, he's just he looks like he's just hurting, but at the same time, not at all. Is he the best player left in the playoffs? Like, that's a tough one to answer. Yes, he is, and Ant is getting a lot of... I'll tell you this. Ant is the best two-way player. That dude defends. Okay. He puts everything on the line every play. Luka is like a Jokic, where he's unguardable. You can't, there's no schemes. There's no coverages he hasn't seen. He's an unbelievable playmaker. He makes everyone around him better. I can't say that about Anthony Edwards. I can't say he's a making a playmaker, getting his guys easy shots like Luka does. Now, he's a hell of a talent offensively. He's got so much game and athleticism, and he defends. I will say, last night and in this playoffs, I've never seen Luka dedicated so much to the defensive end. He's cutting off baseline. He's sliding his feet. So now we're getting a little bit of everything with him, which is even kind of just rounding his game. But, yeah, offensively, the way his size, his skill, his passing ability to get everybody involved in the attention he draws, yeah, he, he is a guard version of Jokic where there's not one coverage, there's not two coverage. There's no, you can't blitz him because he'll just throw over you. There's no way you can stop this guy. Are we still overlooking Jason Tatum? What what do what does Boston have to do to get a little respect? When, the rest? when this year? When All right, but See, why are we giving loop. why are we giving Dallas the benefit of the doubt when they haven't won anything either? Yeah, because they feel like they haven't supposed to be winning the last six years. Like haven't Boston. supposed to been. That's haven't exactly supposed what to been to win. Yes. Boston no, has like, Boston has been there and they just haven't got. And by the way, Tatum is probably the I would I would put Tatum as the second or third best right, player but in if, the playoffs. If though. Denver was still in these playoffs, we probably would be saying. Jokic is the best player yes. left in the playoffs. So with that said, Jason Tatum lost to Jokic. Yeah. That's it. Now that he's here without Jokic and he has he's had a 30-point game in his first in game one, why are we not why are we not saying Jason Tatum? There's something why is there an expectation for the Boston Celtics that's not there for the Dallas? He doesn't like the fire for people watching. I, I know that's probably not a fair assessment. And really, at we the end of the day. We can make that argument for Luka. They no, both kind of just. There's by the something way, about Luka that can be exciting. Tatum, and Tatum is, he's right there. If we're talking best players left, it's Luka, Tatum, and Ant. There's, there's no one else. And I just think the highest expectations. Why am I having a stroke today? I don't know. I'm worried about you. I can't. They have the pressure. They have the expectation. They've been the most dominant team all year long, partly because Tatum he's still has there. been so great. He's still there. I just, we haven't seen him win the big game. And I know Luka hasn't either. I know obviously Ann hasn't either, but I am just saying I think right now in the playoffs, the way they're playing, the way he plays offense, and now he's even playing defense, I would just, if I had to pick one player, I'm right, playing Luca. Right, but we're... Who would you build around first? Luca, Jason Tatum. No, you are not. Now you're just sticking to your guns. No, we're talking about a now guy that's... Now you're just sticking we, to your guns. Or are, am I sticking to the guy that's been to the conference finals five out of six times? He's there. Like, why wouldn't I? It's proven no, that he's a winner. It's not, it's not an outlandish thing uh, to do. <laughs> so that's not, me, that's not me sticking to my guns. I'm, I'm sticking to the guy that's been there five times in a short seven-year career. What if, what if Luka beats What if what he if wins Mavis the championship this year? this year? Does then we, we never have to change our opinions. We have to change our opinions. They got to get past Minnesota first. <laughs> but if. Well, yeah, but though, it's those three. Like, where he can't throw Halliburton in there. Yeah, he's had a great year. But it's those three that are the three best players left. Man, wish we could fast forward.